Well, hello everyone and welcome yourselves back to Lonzi's Liberators. I hope you're all well and I want to say thank you for being here. So, in the last episode we took a little bit of a beating in the attack. No one died, but we're still recovering. We did build this lovely little start to our basic, basic defense here. I'm setting up the kill box and I think I'm hoping by the end of this episode we'll have the majority of this part of the wall done and... We'll also have our research completed to be able to get the uh, the cooking here. So we actually only need six more, and that should finish shortly. Uh, I've got a few helmets we can have people wear as well. I'm just allowing them all armor, basically. I don't know if that means they'll put it on as headgear. Um, we we kind of just need them to get through the winter part here, but these do help, and we'll see where we're at. But worst case is we'll just have to keep them inside. It is slowly getting a little bit colder, so I think what we'll do is preemptively also get down some clay braziers. So we'll go one here. We'll have one in the side here. And we'll also have one in the edge. I'll get rid of that. Deconstruct that torch for now, because we can use the brazier in there, can't we? And then we'll also get one in each bedroom. Let's go ahead and do that to make sure they're all good. I've got all the windows set to close. I don't know if they've done them yet or whether it even shows. Get a little brazier in each one anyway. Let me click it. It does say closed. So I don't know if there's an animation for it or just simulates that it is closing. That's fine by me. Ah, I'm just playing around with some things here. Look at this aesthetic heat. So this room is a really good value is that is, i guess it's because of all the bookshelves and the games and stuff that's fine uh, merchant's still here from the last episode as well we are fine though we made a little bit we sold one of our goats off and he's got no more gold to kind of give us any more but that's fine all we want is the females so at the moment we've got two males one female which isn't ideal we have one cow did i go ahead and set that to it i did so who's our main animal handler here Andrew, you're pretty good. Can you uh, rope the cattle there and get that one in? So we'll prioritize that roping. I know he's deconstructing over here. And let's check what materials we have manufactured-wise. There's only 25 clay brick. Have we got any... Right, we've got no more clay in stock. We've got a bunch over here, though, that they haven't used yet. And we can obviously set a bit more to be dug out. But what I'm going to do is dig just here. And that's never going to be filled in, actually. That is always going to be where the river's going to go, I think. That's lots more clay that you should go and get as well. Let's speed it up. Let's make sure we're also grabbing the trees that do grow as well. I've noticed naturally the trees just grow quite well, so I'm not going to plant any. Um, I've set a few to be cut over here, and then there's a lot of hauling that we have done. Looking around the map at what this is. That's dirt, isn't it? Bones, bones. We don't need any of that. And then lots more fermenting coming in, so we've got plenty more wine as well. We do have a drinker, so... How are you looking, Adam, on the health now? We should have this dead body gone shortly. You burnt them all, right? Fires in eight minutes. There we go. Right, he should be good then. His mood should be going up. He is also all fine now, so he should be getting up. Lovely stuff. Right, we can get back to a happier time then. Let's make sure they're all good. So what I'm going to do is click in here, and we're just going to go through. Slightly hungry, very thirsty. Okay, get some food. We've got plenty of food. Um... Ugly, you're good at the moment. As long as their mood's not in, like, meltdown territory, we should be fine. Comfortable? I why that's minus two if you're comfortable, but that's fine. Jealous due to inferior bedroom. Oh, Garwolf, where's your bedroom? This one. It is. All right, we need to do something in here, then, because he's going to have problems all the time. So if I go ahead and maybe get some decorations in here, what can we do for him? I don't think we have anything yet. Furniture-wise, then. Realize that we don't have chairs anywhere. I guess if I get like a bookshelf in there or something, that might help. So go ahead and get rid of these wickers eventually. I'll leave them for now, though. They're doing the job. We need to sort out his bedroom. All right. How's the research? Okay, so one more piece of research, and we'll have cooking up and running as well. We'll get that one built in. I am going to, I think, I don't know whether just to patch these with a hallway eventually. I don't know how to do it. Still don't know. I think I'm going to have another bedroom here, though. Or maybe over here, actually. This this spot here works really well. Got a bunch of trees that I did plant over here as well, actually. I forgot about that. All right, we have our 30, so let's go ahead and unlock cooking. Lavish meal, that's a help, helpful one. We've got no iron ingots, though, have we, actually? Oh, no, we've got, we've got to change this up. Smelting, that's what we need. So, smelting is going to allow us to uh, transform metal ore into ingots. Let's grab smelting. 
go ahead and grab that in. So we're going to need a smelting furnace out of clay. We'll just put this here for now next to the other ones. I'll probably grab two. Then I'll make sure... Okay, the mining's happening, so we should be getting a bunch of clay as well. Thank you, Dwight. And let's check in on everyone's clothing. So everyone should be wintered up, apart from you. Did I force that one? I did force that one. That's why the barrier's around it. Okay. You're getting a new shield as well. I also want you to drop this. This isn't very good. It's not that bad, actually. It auto-equipped. My building damage, very high armor and shield damage. So actually, he's okay. Noticed if you hit them in the back, it really does work out well, so... Mining resources mangled. Thank you. Merchants finally gone as well. Awesome. Let's see where we're at with the food. So how many have we got left? 24 animal feed. The cow is now inside. Lovely. I'm hoping we can pull in some good amounts of stuff. And I need stores just for the armor. Look at all this. Vinegar pile. Vinegar pile. Serves. Where did we get vinegar from then? Am I making that? I have no idea. Servitors and disinfectant. Nice. But so it shouldn't take long to get these up as well. And the, uh, the our first bit of smelting is going in as well. So I'll, I'll basically get all of the iron done. And this part of the wall has officially finished as well, which is nice. I may even build a walkway along the edges of these as well. I haven't decided yet. But look, the traps are going up as well, which is good. We did break down these ones. Didn't we? Lots to haul. All right, braze is going in now. It's 9 degrees outside. It's 15 degrees in here where the brazier is. And these are 8 degrees. Left, so it really does help. We've broken that one down now, so I'm going to go ahead and copy one of you in there. Only because we're using them as bedrooms, and then these guys should be good afterwards as well. I think that'll be enough to get them through the winter. But guys, I just want to say a big thank you for being here as well. Absolutely adoring this game. So if you aren't subscribed, please do that, because I would love to actually add this into the rotation for more than one playthrough. That'd be awesome. And obviously hit the thumbs up. It really does help. Keep the tips coming. Obviously, I pre-record a fair bit sometimes, especially being over the Christmas period. So we're pre-recording to make sure we're good. But I do read pretty much every single comment, so. Right, I'm going to go ahead and dig these out too. I can't waste this clay. It's going to be really handy to actually get all that. Before we actually do terraforming, we may as well grab it, so. There's a bit down there that we probably should as well, but I think we've got loads on the map either way. I'm also going to keep an eye and see if there's any more cattle out in the, uh, out in the wild. There, look, I need that one to kind of be done. Are you our animal handler? Ah, can you prioritize taming? Can't interact with sleeping animal. All right. I'll probably hold fire on that and make sure we get that one tamed then. Just in case. And then we'll do a bit more um, bit more hunting for the uh, for the winter period as well. Oh, before we do that, though, I am going to set this one to smelt up the iron stuff. Gold ingots, silver ingots, iron ingots. Let's just put it forever for now. Uh, actually, let's go until we have. I don't want to overdo it. Say 40. Fine. We actually have a few people that are okay to animal handle here as well. I'm just seeing if there's anyone that actually enjoys it. We could do with a proper animal handler eventually. All right, the cow is up, so I should be able to prioritize taming that one. Andrew, can you go ahead and do that? Four in the morning. Got loads to do. These brazes need to go up. So it's eight degrees on these guys, but this one's actually 15. So that, yeah, that really is helping a lot. Make sure all of those are closed. Very basic rooms, but I think they look quite cute. They look cool when you've got the uh, the roof on, I feel. That one's slightly different. You can kind of just set how they look. I want them all the same, really. You could do with them being all one. Let's try that brick one here. I didn't realize as well, you can flip the shapes on um, buildings. Which is really cool. Um, let's go out and do a bit of hunting as well. I'm just going to slow it down. Hopefully the tame works. Did it fail? What are you up to? You're filling your food pouch. That's fine. All right, let's go overview and do it this way then. Wildlife. So, where's the deer at? Uh, I don't want 22 days. It's a bit young. No, you're getting hunted anyway. That's fine. I do want to clear out the other ones eventually. Ah, there's a little rabbit over there as well. Another deer there. Very young. We won't grab that one. Try and tame the, the boars again. There's another deer over this way. 12 days. You're getting hunted as well. Cool. All right, let's speed it up then. Let's get through it. We've got plenty in here. Are we struggling for space here? Because I'm seeing something I don't want to see. Uh, no, they should be fine. We haven't got any space for storing our thingy, it seems. I might allow these back to... Um, yeah, some, I didn't actually select them all, did I? I'll tell you what, let's say you can have the material on these. Put it back just in case. We've got enough room for it. I don't want them taking them off. 
these guys as well. And then we need all that food being hauled in. This is going to be our last batch. They're kind of ideal. Uh, I think they're also ready, those beets. That does give us something we can kind of work towards then as well. I think some of these trees are also going to be ready. I want to get rid of. I've still got those set to cut as well. Construction 10 on some of these. They are all leveling up really, really nicely as well. So 105 stimulants, 6 meals. I didn't get my uh, thingy in. Right, let's check in the research now. 12. All right. Um, still slowly going. No problem. Does it take resources to write? I don't think it does. No. Good. I don't know if we'll be in time for the cooking then as well. So we'll just have to stick to the, uh, the fire outside. Still, it's not ideal, but... I think it's going to freeze up outside anyway, so we can actually increase our meal amount. Say something like, because we've got more people, let's go 20. No harm in that at all. There is so much wildlife over here. Research again is available. We're on 15. We're going to chill though. I do want to get this too. This is going to help us get the guy, uh, the guy's bedroom. Make him a bit happier. Check in again as well. Adam's good. Ugly apparel's the only one. Not a lot we can do about that just yet. Andrew's not too bad. Audrey's not too bad. Dwight, still not happy because there's some dead bodies. Where's the dead bodies? Yeah, he still says dead bodies, but I don't see them. Uh, jealous due to inferior. We need to work. So Garwolf is obviously our jealous one. That's fine. Mood-wise, though, they're all pretty damn happy. Um, we're looking good here. Let's check in on our materials as well. So we need manufactured. We've got vinegar, mechanical components, tallow. Okay, clay and iron are happening, surely. Got any of those in yet? Got iron ore, right? We've got no iron ore. I thought we did. Uh, right. We've got 39 animal feed. A little bit of hay. I think what I'm going to do before the winter also is just dig up a little bit of the grass. And also harvest and chop some of these. I am going to harvest these guys to make sure we do have more fodder for the, for the animals so they're ready. It might be worth us laying a patch of that. I wonder if we... I'm going to do what you do in RimWorld. You've probably told me. Uh, no. They, they will eat any of the fields if I put them in there, right? We can go red currant bushes as well, which I have been neglecting. Let's get, as we'll be moving them over here, let's get some red currant shrubs there. A little five by three. I'm going to fence these off eventually as well. I'm harvesting anything around that's going to come in handy as well. All right, so we've still got 61 raw meat. Still not looking good. I think I want to have another go at hunting one of these. Uh, I might use Dwight. Let's check his jobs. Hunting. Dwight is going to do that anyway. Perfect. Let's see if he does. Uh, it looks like all our pyres are in now, so bedrooms should be all pretty good here. And I guess when we go move into clay, I didn't look at the insulation properly. So wooden wall, thermal insulation 0 0.8, 0 0.9 on clay, 0 0.87. So it looks like normal clay is the way to go for the houses that hit points the clay brick wall. But our outer wall is going to be so strong. White now considers Adam a friend. Married me when I was wounded. Ah, Dwight, that's lovely. Still has this sore dead body as well. I think it just hadn't expired yet. I've just spotted a deer over this side as well, which looks it's still young, but we'll set it as well. Going to keep a close eye on the boar when it happens. I might get Dwight. He's convalescing still. What's your issue? What happened with you? What the? Did I miss something? Something happened with Dwight. All right, we've got to leave him then. Maybe Audrey can come and have a go. You think you're hard enough sleeping right now, but it is the daytime. Okay. Get her to prioritize that. I'm actually going to draft her if it becomes a problem. I do want to just see if she can kill it because it will fight back. So come on. Running away at the moment. Please stop missing. Don't know if they run off the map. Decided she wants to go for a snooze. Oh, she sleeps in the daytime, doesn't she? My bad. Sorry, Audrey. Oh, man. I, I must have completely missed whatever happened to uh, old Dwighty boy there. Right. Let's continue on though. So manufactured, we need to get this clay smelting. And it's not on our stockpiles yet. So you've got iron nuggets there. If I grab, let's say Adam, and let's say prioritize production there. If I grab maybe Sybil's hauling, let's get her to prioritize some production here. Might go ahead and get some iron in there. Okay, it's smelting up. Lovely. Good job, Sybil. Can I ask you to also prioritize this production are you still making it i'll leave you making that they have to manually do it it looks like takes a little while so that is going to be a time consuming thing i see only four more nuggets so i don't know how much we're going to get out of that all right research 27 we need three more day five of autumn as well it's still looking okay 
And I need to make sure we still have plenty of sticks, which we do. These ivy shrubs are going to be the ones we cut down. I think they're all fighting over here. We're still mining. Give me that clay. How's Dwight looking? So bruises are sorted now. Concussion just seems to be getting worse. What I might do then, Dwight convalesce. Got to just put him as a one on convalesce. So he actually just goes ahead and does that. Works left to right as well. I'm just going to leave him in bed. That concussion needs sorting, doesn't it? Okay, so manufactured items now. We should have or should see some iron coming in. Don't know if that's speeding up when he does it, but it seems to be doing the trick right now. I'm going to do the same on this one, so until you have 40. There we go, smelting some ores. Boom. That's some ore there. 30 iron ingots. Lovely. So we do need a place for dumping the ash, which is over here. So we have the iron ingots now. And two more on the research. So Sybil, what's your story here? I get you back out. I think Dwight also can be intellectual if we want. We're pretty good on that front, actually, aren't we? We've got 24 meals in stock as well. 209 raw meat. Are we? Do we have any animals on the stock? I haven't been keeping an eye. Why the hell is there a dead body on here? No humans. You need to burn that. That's where they're seeing it. Yes, silly sausage. Let's go up and let's see if we can prioritize that. Like, deliver burn body. There you go. Go down and get the bodies because we're seeing some unless there's another one here yeah she's going to get it oh found it i forget that we have her downstairs oh hello what's going on here did we tame that other one yes we did okay so we just need a male one at some point but we do officially have two cows i'm wondering if we do plant in here though it looks like you can't plant the hay though that's the only thing i'm thinking i guess we could plant any of these and it wouldn't really matter and they might eat it maybe red currants wouldn't hurt to get a couple of those in there as well, maybe. Oh, one more research book as well. On the last one here, I would love, love, love to get this cooking in. That would be so good. And then for the next one, we'll go into decorative stuff. They're really cheap. And then, oh, there it is. Boom, we have unlocked cooking. Right, so the time has come to get ourselves a low limestone stove. Where better than to... Oh, what do we have? I think this needs to move. So fermenting this stockpile is getting less now isn't it so let's go ahead and plonk this over here i know you can have seats in th in front of this as well andrew i think he's doing that let's see he's coming back up and then i'm going to get this built he is nice one andrew as soon as he's done that i'm going to get this stove in boom stove in place so that costs 50 limestone five iron ingots and then we've got a cartography so, I'm not going to mess with the, re the regional. That cartography needs to go somewhere else, though. And that's why we need an upstairs. But right now is not the time to be breaking down stuff. It needs to be a pretty clear day today, though. 20 degrees outside. Here we have it. The stove coming in. I'm going to change this now. We can actually make some pickled vegetables. Look at this. Holy crap. Salted eels. Nice. All right. This is game changer right now. One herb plus 24 cooking meal makes lavish meal. We've got some herbs, right? Don't want to do those yet. Let's not do those yet. What we'll do, though, is this is always going to be... Why did that just go up to that? Say 25. And then we will say... None of you. We'll leave animal feed in the fire, potentially. And then pickled veg. Pickled veg. Still. How much is it for pickled veg, actually? So 10 vegetables, 3 preservatives. So we're actually going to make use of it. I reckon this is going to last for ages as well. Uh, let's just start pickling up. Let's say 100. I don't know if that's overkill, but we're going into the winter. Let's get pickling. That looks awesome, too. What a cool-looking stove. And it should be a bit more efficient inside and make this room nice and warm next to the brazier there. Very, very good. Looks like you're losing heat inside. 16 degrees and then 18 degrees here. I'm going downstairs again. 7 degrees. Have you moved these bodies now? There's the bones pile. Look. Yeah, I made a big mistake with that. Should just be the carcasses, nothing else. So they will move those eventually, so that's fine. Pretty sure we're out here. I need to get more bricks in. I really want this wall finishing. They've done well. They're going all the way across, but we need more clay again. Pretty sure we've got some, though. Still knocking about over here, and then mining it. Nice. Yep, we've got plenty there, then. Let's continue the mine here. I think we'll just grab all that clay there. Then I'll make sure... Well, let's check in on Dwight first. Discussion, it's halved now. And dislocated shoulder also. 
All right, we'll check in once again then. So Craft is the one, isn't it? So Dwight is our main one. That's why nothing's happening there. I'm actually going to change him to a two on that one. Um, let's keep him as is there. And let's get someone else doing it. So who isn't meaning anything? So research for Sybil. Uh, when you're not researching, you're going to be doing that for a while. Adam does construction plus stuff. So I might, he'll go and do it eventually. I'm going to take him off cooking there so he favors this. Also going to take him off that. So he should go down the tree and he's not doing that. He's going to animal husbandry. Let's get rid of that. Um, mining then into craft. So mining, I believe as is, there may be a two on craft would work in this scenario. Yes, it would. Then tailoring afterwards. We want this to keep going, right? I think that's fine for now. Settler's wound needs tending. Which one? Hit shoulder. I mean, what can I do for that? Like, oh, you're doing it now. Cool. That's going to use up our herbs, isn't it? We don't have any more that are going to be growing. Um, maybe we'll look around on the map more. All right, good news. There's some. It's only six, but that's fine. You get seeds from it too, which is great. I'm going to ramp up the um, the amount of those. I'm just going to go through and grab it all off the map. Just to kind of keep us safe and ready, because I wouldn't mind doing some lavish meals eventually as well. Plenty of deer out this way as well. They've kind of come onto the map. There's the carcass. Nice. Might just have to hunt these guys as well. They do keep coming on back onto the map, so there's some more. Let's get another six from that. Don't think we ever did kill that boar, so I'm gonna get rid of that because I'm too scared of the attacks that'll come back on it. Raw meat is disappearing. Can we get smoking again? Am I set to a certain number or is it forever? It should be forever, right? I guess it's because we weren't doing the craft and that counts as that, which we should be now. Alright, let's go into the cattle as well. So domestic cattle. If we train that, surely you can haul with cattle. I guess not. Might just train one and see how we fare. Let's uh, train the one cow and see if that helps. Sure it will. Then we got cooking happening now. Nice, we're pickling some veg. So I'm quite excited about that. We've got so much vinegar anyway. That must have been a byproduct of something else. 238 cooked meat. We've got some milk, a little bit of raw meat, some beets cabbage red currant 27 meals so we're looking good there what have we got we've got some stew and some roasted meat i guess we could go fish well we can now use that might be the case because i just saw some uh, eel so that might be what we do for this winter period get a bit of that going i don't want to overdo it we're just chilling getting all this done right it's all about this clay clay bricks plenty over here all right what i'm going to do is urgently haul the clay over so they actually start doing stuff here because i need need it good job on the mine as well so they should come and hit that i think we've got them on urgent hall yeah a few of them on twos for urgent hall so they should come and grab that there we go oh no he's going for a dig again and garwolf how's dwight looking now okay so shoulder is almost gone and concussion still there wow that is a long lasting concussion i'm just going to leave him resting then We'll make do without for now. And we're also, in the meantime, going to just be on the safe side and grab in some stick traps. Around the doorway and maybe around the base. Don't know. Kind of just do a little bit of a thingy here. Not loads, just to kind of weaken them. That's fine. Don't think they come around the other way either. What we should do here... I might make a barracks, actually. This would make perfect sense. We can start building out a barracks here. And we have, like, weapon racks and stuff underneath. I think that would look really cool. It frees up a lot of space in here. But actually, over this side of the room, I'm looking by the research table. It is pretty cold. So we might need to move that over as well. What have you been working on? Let's check our food again. So, pickled vegetables we have, but it's not going anywhere. How long do they last? Decomposes in three. Oh, wow. They last ages. Nice. Settlers are becoming annoyed. I mean, you've been laid down for about five days, so there's not a lot I can do for you. I think it's safe to say I can deconstruct this one now as well. All right, there we go. Ten wooden merlins. Let's get all that deconstructed. Get that out of the way. That gives us a massive amount of space here as well. How are we looking here? These trees looking good. You're good as well. Let's get you cut down. They're obviously dropping seeds around here and it's working out really well. And there we go. We see the clay on the pile now, so we should start getting all this done as well over here. 
checking on the sticks again. 628. You see, I'm just keeping a close eye on everything as well. That resembles RimWorld so much, doesn't it? Like in the way that rather than over here, it's over here. And the people are over here rather than up here. Obviously, it has, its, it has some of the major differences as well. Like the building mechanics are super cool in this. I'm actually going to put the roof up as well. I'm going to have a little play around with these and see if there's anything else we can do with these. All right, so now we've got that. If I click that, what does that do? It just changes the alignment, right? I reckon you could make that look nice when it's attached to another building. Don't mind the normal triangle as well, you know. I'll stick with that for now, though. I don't know. All right, how's everything looking? Can we get some of this done? How's our mate looking as well? Keeping a close eye on him. Once that dislocated shoulder goes, it'll focus purely on the concussion and then we should be good. It should go down to moderate eventually. Probably need to, once this is broken down, get this next bedroom in as well. I think, as I say, over here is a good place. I might need to cut those down to do so. Let's get it ready. I might change it and get a bigger bedroom for uh, what's his face. Is it Garwolf that's complaining? I think it was. All right, look at all this wine now. We have uh, plenty of stimulants. I think I'm going to... Where did, where did we put that? I think I'm going to... Um, I need to get this back on, don't I? So, we've, we're not going to ferment any fruit juices, but I am going to say... Do I want to curdle any? Is it going to go bad? I don't know. I'll just say 20 for now. I don't know what we do with it. I'm sure it's going to be used in meals or something later on. Make sure we're also harvesting three things. But day 8 of autumn, let me just hover over. So we are 31 days in now to the run. To be fair, I reckon we're uh, we're pretty damn solid once we've got the uh, play wall up, aren't we? But that is going to be where I end this one out, guys. It's been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, smash the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. And obviously, I wish you a great day. See you in the next one.